As an iPhone user, one well-known way that you can quickly access your best friends and family on your phone is to add them to your favorites in the phone app. Another lesser known way is to create icons on your home screen that act as shortcuts, which you can tap to instantly call the people that you communicate with the most. In this video, I'll show you how you can create these icons on your home screen using an official Apple iOS app called, well, Shortcuts. First, if you haven't downloaded the Shortcuts app, go get it in the App Store now. Once the app is installed, open it and tap Create Shortcut. Tap the Settings button on the top right of the screen and rename the shortcut. In this example, I'm creating a shortcut called Aaron. Tap Done. Tap the search bar at the bottom and type Contacts. Tap the option that comes up called Contacts, which will bring up your entire list of contacts. Select the person that you're creating a shortcut to. Then, you need to select the action you want the iPhone to perform on this contact. In this case, I've typed call in the search bar and selected the corresponding call option. To add the shortcut to your home screen, tap the share icon on the top right. Tap add to home screen. Now you can stick to a simple color for the icon or choose a photo of your contact. In my case, I chose a photo of Aaron. Tap Done. Apple will open the Safari browser and you'll need to tap Share, then Add to Home Screen one more time. You will now have an icon you can tap to instantly call this person. One caveat to this approach is that there's about a five second delay between tapping the icon and the call being placed, since tapping the icon leads first to opening the shortcut app and then to triggering the action of the call. Hopefully Apple can improve the workflow in the future so that shortcuts can run more instantly in the background. For now though, you'll have to decide if the wait is worth it to you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tip, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more iPhone news, reviews, and how-tos from appleiphonereview.com.